Hi everyone, this is your Hurricane Tracker video update for June 7th of 2011. The tropical depression in the eastern Pacific Basin was uh, named our first tropical storm of the season just moments ago by the National Hurricane Center. So that'll be Tropical Storm Adrian out there in the uh, eastern Pacific Basin. And we still have our tropical disturbance on its last heels there in the Caribbean Sea. Uh, no longer any threat for development. Uh, just a, a lot of torrential heavy rains uh, over Haiti this evening and unfortunately has resulted in a loss of life over that part of the world. Uh, and we'll talk more about the, uh, the, the rain associated with that system in just a moment. Now, uh, before we get over to Adrian, here's a quick look at uh, the tropical disturbance in the Caribbean. Uh, looking at the satellite imagery, the visible and the infrared, you can definitely tell it's, it's a very disorganized system this evening. If you see the red arrows here, that's indicating upper level winds out of the southwest coming over top of the system, which is shearing it apart, preventing anything from developing, which is good news. But unfortunately, there's a lot of tropical moisture and downpours uh, falling over the Caribbean this evening. And again, especially uh, Haiti has been uh, hit pretty hard tonight. Some of this moisture will be headed towards Florida. Uh, that is a part of the country that's in desperately in desperate need for rain, excuse me. If you look on the southeastern uh, side of Florida, uh, the state there is in an exceptional to an extreme drought. And a couple of computer models are forecasting a couple of inches, a couple of inches of rain over parts of the Sunshine State come Thursday and Friday of this week. Uh, so it's not going to be a flooding event or a washout by any means, but some, a few of you there in South Florida will pick up a couple of inches of rain before the week is over. Now, uh, on to the main event this evening. We have newly formed Tropical Storm Adrian in the Eastern Pacific Basin. Over here on the left is a satellite picture that was taken this morning when it was a depression. And just moments ago, this satellite picture indicating a much better organization. Throughout the day, the storm is steadily organized. And just over a matter of 12 hours, it looks a lot better organized. And um, it is definitely a healthy looking tropical system. Most of the computer models do want to keep it off the, co off the Mexican coastline, which would be great news. And the National Hurricane Center also agrees with that. Uh, the National Hurricane Center is kind of going with the track uh, right about down the middle of the model consensus here. And uh, by Wednesday evening, we could be looking at a hurricane out there off of the Mexican coast. Uh, but it does look like it's going to be far enough offshore uh, to not pose any flooding or wind threats along the coast. If that changes, we'll definitely keep you upgraded as soon as possible. Uh, before we leave you tonight, I want to let you take a look at a couple, uh, excuse me, a look at a couple of satellite pictures here. Over on the right is the disturbance in the Caribbean Sea, and you can see how it's basically just being shredded to nothing. If you look carefully, look how the clouds are flowing from the southwest to the northeast. That's indicating very strong upper level winds, which again are, uh, are doing a good job in tearing the storm apart. And over the next couple of days, this moisture here over Jamaica and eastern Cuba, be, again, will be headed north and uh, will be uh, visiting South Florida for a day or two. Over here on the left is a tightly wound Tropical Storm Adrian. You can see it is very well organized. Uh, it's a beautiful looking storm, so it's good news it's going to be staying off the shore here. Uh, but definitely a very well organized system. And um, if anything changes on Adrian, we'll keep you quickly updated. Thanks for being a Hurricane Tracker customer. If you have comments about the push notifications, the videos, the audio, or the app at all, or feedback, uh, leave us an iTunes review. We appreciate it. We look at those every day, and we'll try to improve if necessary. Thanks for being a customer, and have a great week, everybody.